This is me, it's Queen Osset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. So someone asked me um, what assumptions are made about Aquarius, um, right ones or wrong ones that I often hear. I talked the other day about the biggest lies told on Aquarius, and uh, two of them are actually <laughs> on this list. But I'm going to tell you now the assumptions that are made about Aquarius. To me, Aquarius is the one sign that people never really understand. When I listen on YouTube videos, every once in a while, I hear somebody that hits it. You know, I'm like, yeah, that's it, you know? But most of the time, most people have no idea who and what we are. The, 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 the descriptions <laughs> that I hear, I'm like, what? You know, we don't do that, you know? So, they make no distinction between people who are positive, people who are negative. They assume that we all do the same kind of things. And this is of every zodiac sign. But with Aquarius, they get it wrong a lot. They get other signs a lot better than they get us. And I think, like I said before, that's because the Aquarius is somebody who you can't really figure out from being on the outside looking in. You will never know an Aquarius like that. If you know an Aquarius and they're just an associate, you don't really know that Aquarius. <laughs> Guaranteed. Because if you get through the wall, the, the, the wall, the moat <laughs> that we have going around, around ourselves, then you will definitely see that you do not know that person. Because what we present on the outside and what's going on in the inside is two totally different things. So if you don't know an Aquarius intimately, you probably think one of these assumptions. What are they? The top 10 assumptions made about Aquarius. That we are insane. Some people think Aquarius are crazy. And that's because Aquarius are eccentric. So they assume they, they put crazy with eccentric. Now, mind you, some people are crazy. Some people of every sun sign are crazy. So if people see a crazy Aquarius, they're like, yep, see, I told you them Aquarius is crazy. But <laughs> our temper, some of us have bad tempers, and that even further gives the implication that we're crazy. I know a lot of people that think I'm crazy because they've seen me snap. <laughs> and they was like, uh-oh, <laughs> you know? So it is what it is. But in reality, we're very sane. Might got some temper issues, might be a little bit eccentric, but most of us are sane. You know, we wouldn't fail a psychiatrist test, put it like that, and I've taken one. <laughs> and I passed, okay? So um, we're definitely not um, all insane. I think that a lot of times that's what that, that perception is about. Next, that we're cold. Some people think Aquarius are cold as ice. And to be honest with you, some of us are, <laughs> some of us are, and some of us can be, you know, um, I know for a fact, me personally, I'm generally friendly and warm, but if somebody rubs me wrong, I turn cold quick, you know, I shut off quick. I turn cold quick. So it just depends on how people treat me, how they're going to receive me. If you treat me well, then I'm going to be warm and friendly. If you treat me negatively or give me reason not to trust you, I'm going to be cold and distant. So people who think that Aquarius are cold must have done something to an Aquarius and got treated coldly. Because if you're kind to us, we're generally, especially those of us who are light, even the great ones, if you're generally kind to us, we'll be kind back. So I always question people when they say that. Like, what did you do to the Aquarius? Next, they think that Aquarius leave for no reason. That is a crazy assumption. People say this to me all the freaking time. They'll be like, oh, my Aquarius left. Nothing happened. I didn't do anything. And as soon as they start telling me nothing happened and they ain't do nothing, I know something happened and they did something every single time. So people make this assumption like Aquarius just want to be free. We're just commitment phobic. We just want to be in the wind. We just left for no reason. Oh, why would my Aquarius do this to me? And I'm looking at them like something happened. And usually if I probe long enough, I figure out what it is. So people like to make the assumption that Aquarius just leave for no reason. 
then they make the assumption that Aquarius are irresponsible. And I think this is because some Aquarius are <laughs> irresponsible. So they assume that we're all irresponsible. For example, my father was very irresponsible. Didn't take care of his kids, really didn't take care of himself. However, you know, I'm extremely responsible. Take care of everything. I mean, like... I live by myself <laughs> with my daughter in a the whole totally different country, you know. I've always been responsible in those kind of ways. So I think people are responsible and irresponsible depending upon what they care about. But Aquarius often get accused of being irresponsible because some of us are flighty. So we get accused of being irresponsible. And some of us are. I think some of every sun sign is. Um, also because Aquarius will, you know, we want to be free. So people look at that like we don't want responsibilities. We don't want commitments. And it's not because we're not responsible. We just don't want to make commitments to something that's not going to be right for us. And Aquarius will make a commitment, but it has to be something that we really believe is right for us. We don't want to commit ourselves to something that's going to make us unhappy. So we may seem like we don't want responsibilities. We don't want commitments, but the truth is we just want the right ones. And we're very selective. Most of us are very selective about that. Lonely. Some people think Aquarius is lonely. I crack up when they say that to me because, I mean, I know that there are some introverted, uh, quieter Aquarius who don't do as well socially. There's some of those, but to me, I laugh because I know for a fact that if Aquarius really wants to put effort into having a friend or somebody to talk to, even if it's just somebody to kick it with, if you put the effort into it, most Aquarius can pull this off. You know, so that's why I laugh at it, because I'm like, if an Aquarius is lonely, it's because they're choosing to be lonely. They're choosing not to put the effort in to have whatever relationship they want to have. And usually people think the Aquarius is lonely, but there's a difference between lonely and alone. I, I was talking about this the other day in another video, and a woman said that sometimes she goes and eats by herself. She doesn't take her friend. Her friend gets mad, and she's like, I just want to go by myself. Aquarius have a good time by ourselves. We are the party. <laughs> we bring the party, so we don't have to have other people around to entertain us. We are the entertainment. I can go have dinner. I always go to my favorite restaurant by myself. I can take anybody. I take my daughter. I can take my... um my best friend, but a lot of times I just want to go be by myself, play on my phone, <laughs> eat whatever I want, you know, and then get the Uber back home. So Aquarius have them tendencies. We People think we're lonely. We just like being alone, literally. And I know that's weird. People are like, how can you like being alone? We love it. <laughs> we love doing whatever we want to do. It's a freedom to it, you know, and when you're by yourself, you can be free. Now, we also are humanitarians. We do like social events, too. So people get kind of confused because we like both. We like to be with people and we like to be without people. But it's not, we're never, most of us aren't lonely. We're just alone. There's a difference. Lonely is when you want to be with somebody and you aren't or you can't be. You know, alone is when you choose solitude, tranquility, peace, introspection, and Aquarius likes that. Uh, Aquarius are mean. Some people think Aquarius are mean. I can be as mean as a rattlesnake. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, I, yeah, we can be very mean. But it's not all the time. Aquari Again, with the coldness, the meanness goes with the coldness. If an Aquarius is mean, it's usually because somebody did something to us. If somebody treated us a certain type of way. And a lot of people will still smile and grin in your face, <laughs> even when you do something to them. Aquarius doesn't do that. If you do something to us, a lot of us will be looking at you like... And they'd be like, oh, she's so mean. Yeah, but what did you do to her? And that's always what you have to ask somebody. If they say an Aquarius is cold or mean, ask them what did they do? Because I guarantee you they nine times out of ten slighted them, was talking about them, or did something to the Aquarius. Because we're not just cold and mean for no reason. We're usually really friendly. Unless you run into a dark Aquarius. A dark Aquarius can be cold, mean, and all of the things on this list that they want to be. They are the worst our sign has to offer. But if you're dealing with the light Aquarius or the neutral or gray, as I call them, we're the better <laughs> that our sign has to offer. And you usually get better responses. Aquarius are mysterious. 
everybody swear we mysterious. I mean, I just think it's all hype, quite frankly, because you people don't know your business. So if an Aquarius is not spreading their business, if an Aquarius is being more quiet with their business and more secretive with their business, people think, oh, you're being mysterious. No, I just don't want you in my business. <laughs> I just don't want you over here running to an act, you know? Go, go get somebody else's business and spread it. So a lot of people think we're mysterious because of that. But the truth is we just don't want want you running our business and dealing with the drama that comes along with that. Aquarius are hoes. Aquarius do love sex. <laughs> so an assumption that people make is that we're hoes. But the truth of the matter is, is that yes, we love sex. Yes, many of us are very kinky. And yes, some of the dark ones are hoes. But the lighter and the gray Aquarius, one thing about us, we're selective. We're not going to just fuck anybody. <laughs> you know, we're not just going to go off with anybody, even though we get a lot of offers. If I, oh my God, you guys just don't know. If I took every offer that I got, I would be a hoe. <laughs> I would be. But we don't. We are very selective because we don't like everybody. You know what I mean? We, uh, <laughs> everybody can't be all up in our mix. So we're not actually hoes. We just enjoy having sex with whoever we're with. Um, and we do have a freedom to our sexuality. But like I said, there's a selectiveness to it. We're only going to be so free. Everybody can't come to the party. <laughs> just certain people that we really, really like can come to the party. Aquarius are liars. Uh, the dark Aquarius lie their ass off. The gray Aquarius lie sometimes. It just depends on who they are. Um, but I think that this is one that goes across the, the zodiac. A lot of people I've heard accused their dark form of being liars. Capricorns are accused of being liars. Uh, Leos, Geminis, Scorpios, Cancers. I mean, name me one dark <laughs> one dark sign that isn't accused of constantly, constantly lying. Aries always lying. So dark and great energies of any zodiac sign be lying their ass off. Uh, light Aquarius are too honest. And some of the gray ones too. Light and gray Aquarius are so honest that people get mad at us for being honest. The exact flip of that. You know, I said one time before, people can't handle the truth. They ask for the truth, then they get mad about the truth. Then you don't want the truth. So that's um, the Aquarius. Generally not liars, generally accused of being too honest, too blunt is what they would tell me. So I had to learn how to soften that honesty over time. I'm still learning that. And the last one is that Aquari uh, Aquarius are assumed to be airheads. Some people assume that Aquarius are just up in the sky, floating around, irresponsible, don't know what they're doing, can't find their cat. <laughs> you know, their plants are dying. And some Aquarius might be like that. But generally, Aquarius aren't airheads. But we are clumsy sometimes. Like I'm always dropping something <laughs> or breaking something or losing my contact lens in the ice cube tray or, you know, something crazy like that. So we do have a tendency to be a little clumsy sometimes. Some of us, um, that's something that some of us really do struggle with. I've struggled with it since I was a child, since I was like two. I, I always struggle with that. So we might seem like we're airheads, but we're really not because we're really smart. No matter how clumsy and goofy I may be, um, when it comes down to academia, when you want to have an Aquarius tested, you're going to see them numbers are high in most cases. Of course, not every Aquarius is going to be like that. And you are going to run across a couple airheads. I've run across a few airhead Aquarius, but when I sat down and started talking to them, I found out that they really were intelligent. They just don't know how to put their thought processes together in a logical train. So they come out of nowhere and, and people think they're airheads, <laughs> you know, because these lightning bolts from Uranus are coming and they're just floating all around. So even those people were pretty smart. They just didn't know how to, they didn't know how to work it. That's the bottom line. All right, guys. So those are the assumptions that are often made about Aquarius. The top 10 that I found. What assumptions have you heard about Aquarius from people who are not Aquarius or don't know any Aquarius? Because those are the kind of people that usually say stuff like this. All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. Thank you for being here. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Pass it on to anybody who's wondering about crazy assumptions about the Aquarius. And if you would like to talk with me, if you want to talk to me directly, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Hit me up. I'm on Facebook a lot more than Instagram, though. 
Likewise, if you want to email me, feel free. If you would like to get a tarot or oracle card reading, or if you want to ask a general question, you can also put a general question underneath here in the comment section. Every day I read all the comments. So if you put a, a question under there, I'll get your question and I'll put it on the list. We have a list, <laughs> a nice long one too. Um, let me see. If you want to send me a love donation, I'll leave my PayPal. And I think that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.